think we'll see a renewed effort from the Bengals this week. And as long as you slow down DJ Moore, I think you'll be okay. Our guest this week is Adam Rank from the NFL Network and NFL.com. Adam, you were on the set Monday night after a rough night for the Bengals in Cleveland. What was your takeaway from that game? Just a bad night for the Bengals or something that concerned you a little more than that? Honestly, you know what? We see this way too much in the NFL. You don't want to get too excited when your team's playing really well, and you don't want to get too bummed out when things are not kind of going their way. But because if the Bengals win this week against Carolina, they're five and four, which not coincidentally or coincidentally was their record last year. So let's not get, let's not get too bummed out. At four and four, this was a team that you picked to win the AFC North prior to the season. What is your big picture take on the Bengals to date? Well, I still believe that they're going to end up winning the division. I know that Baltimore is ahead of them right now, but I look at Cleveland. I don't think, I think Cleveland had that one little gasp. Pittsburgh already selling off players, but again, ultimately, and I know there are some injuries on defense. I still think this is a very talented football team. And I think that when you're in a high profile primetime game, things get kind of overblown. So as long as you can go out this week against the Carolina Panthers, reestablish yourself, I think this team's going to be just fine. The Bengals host the Panthers this Sunday at 1 o'clock. Do you have a key or keys for the Bengals to come away with a win? They've been very good outside of the division, which is cool, but you got to start winning some of those division games, number one. The Panthers have played much better football as of late, ever since they traded away Christian McCaffrey and they elevated P.J. Walker to their starting quarterback. He was a player that I thought, you know, was kind of overlooked. They love P.J. Walker. So I think that he's a better quarterback than people are giving him credit for. DJ Moore is one of the elite talents at wide receiver who's never really seemed to take off, but has been over the last couple of weeks been playing exceptionally well. You got to play better against the run. Deontay Foreman is not Nick Chubb, but still that guy is a good player. And if you allow him to get, you know, into that second level, it's going to be a problem. But I think we'll see a renewed effort from the Bengals this week. And as long as you slow down DJ Moore. I think you'll be okay. It's not going to be the walkover. I know a lot of Bengals fans probably looked at this game in the preseason and were like, well, this is a win. Realize that this is a better team than people are giving them credit for. The Panthers have some, some talent on the defensive line too, so protect that quarterback. I appreciate you doing this today. Thanks so much for your time. Keep up the good work. Thanks so much for having me.